Hello everyone, we completed training series on NFPA 13 and now we are going to start a training module on NFPA 20 which is the standard for installation of stationary fire pumps. In today's class, we are going to determine the pipe sizing for the fire pump room. We can find this particular table which you are seeing on your screen in NFPA 20. Uh, from this particular table, table 4.28, we can uh, determine the minimum pipe sizes based on the fire pump capacity. We shall discuss in detail regarding this table in our next slide. First of all, we will draw the fire pump room drawing before uh, you know we determine the pipe sizing based on the pump capacities. So just I will take my pen tab and draw the pump room drawing, the conceptual pump room drawing. Here we have the fire water tank and we are going to draw the section line. We have one gate valve and this water tank is filled with water. So now we are going to take one section header. From this we have three section lines. One will be going to the electric fire pump. The other will be for the diesel pump. And the third one will be for jockey pump. And uh, from electric pump you have discharge lines. This is only conceptual drawing. We shall discuss uh, in detail uh, regarding the fire pump room shop drawing in our next classes. So this Discharge header will be going to the building sprinkler system or the hydrant network and so on. So now here we have uh, one gate wall on suction side of three pumps and the other gate wall on the discharge side as well for this pumps and you have a check wall on the discharge side and uh, you have the eccentric reducer on the suction side of the pumps and we will be considering the concentric increaser on the discharge side of the fire pump. Apart from this we have the test line as well. So test line will be considered for electric and diesel pumps. So just I am drawing after the check wall we need to take the discharge line uh, I am sorry uh, the test header and uh, we will be having a gate wall on the test line as well. So from here just I am going to take this test header line back to the fire water tank. So on test header we have two gate walls and a flow meter. This flow meter will be used during the flow test. Based on that we will uh, uh, you know draw the performance curve of the fire pumps. Okay. So apart from this we have uh, one more line which will be going to the controllers so diesel controller and from electric uh, discharge line a sensing line will go to the electric pump controller and from the jockey side also it will be going to the jockey controller so the sensing line valves and on and so on will be discussed in our future classes when we discuss about or when we concentrate uh, solely on the shop drawing of the fire pump room so now apart from this there is one more important thing that has to be uh, you know considered when we install the diesel pump there will be pressure relief line this is in case of uh, excess pressure from the diesel line you know uh, we will consider a particular line in which we will install the pressure relief valve and a waste cone through which we can see the water flowing through this particular uh, you know relief line so this is the basic uh, conceptual drawing of the fire pump room now we will discuss the pipe sizing now it will be very much easy uh, for you to understand the graph so i will take one more color violet will be good so for example our fire pump capacities are 1500 gpm so when you come back to this table you can find the suction sizes Section size will be 8 inch. So minimum section size shall be 8 inch. If the capacity of the fire pump is 1500 GPM. So apart from that the discharge line will also be 8 inch. This is the minimum sizes that shall be considered. One second. For jockey it will be different. Okay. Since the capacity of the jockey will be very less. The sizes of this jockey pump will depend upon the flow requirement maybe 25 gpm or 50 gpm it depends okay you need to refer nfpa 
20 to select the jockey pump capacity. Now the discharge header will also be 8 inch based on this and the test line if you come here okay relief line we have 6 inch so relief valve I'm sorry relief valve shall be 6 inch so this PRV this is called pressure relief valve or relief valve this shall be 6 inch but the line will be 8 inch if you see the table relief valve discharge line shall be 8 inch so we are going to consider 8 inch relief valve line so now apart from that uh, you have a meter device this is flow meter line for the flow meter line you need to consider 8 inch as per this particular table so the gate walls flow meter size and all these things will be 8 inch only so here we have uh, taken 8 inch line to the fire water tank okay apart from that we have hose walls and uh, uh, you know hose header supply this i will uh, discuss but before that just we will uh, try to put the size for the suction header as well we can consider 8 inch size for this suction header as well so 8 inch this gate wall will be on the suction side of the tank will be 8 inch and the suction header will also be 8 inch i hope you understand the concept and uh, how to determine the pipe sizes based on the fire pump capacity if you have any comments or clarification you can just contact through my email id uh, i will share that uh, email id with you also you can comment in the comment section so that i'll reply to you thank you so much once again bye thank you guys in next class we are going to determine the fire pump capacity itself till then bye